Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back to another episode here on African Confessions. Well, in this episode, I am going to be sharing with you this other message. We received this confession from a brother who is in desperate need of help. The confession reads as follows. Good morning, Brother Nashi. I am tired of the life that I am leading. I did a money-making rituals because of the love of money and me not being patient with God. If only I was patient, I know that my turn would come, but I failed to wait upon the Lord and thought that the word of God is of those people who are not clever. Today I lead a life that is very painful. I don't have peace at all. I do not have peace of mind. Yes, the money I have, and I do not want to lie. The money you get, but what will it benefit a man to gain the world and for him to lose his own soul? That is the question that I keep on asking myself, and I do not have any answer at all, because when I look at all the things that I have, sometimes I smile because I know that I do not have to worry about what am I going to wear, which car am I going to drive, what am I going to eat. It is a life that is very different from the life that I once had. I sold my life to the devil all because of wanting instant riches. Instant riches was all that I wanted. Well, when my story started, I used to watch this other prophet. I used to watch TB Joshua. I'll touch the TV too whilst he prayed. And I prayed for a job after finishing my master's in finance, but no job ever came. My mother's friends advised me to send my certificates as well to Nigeria so that the prophet himself could pray for them. Still, I didn't get a job at all. That is when I decided to take a short left and made this decision that would end up ruining my entire life. I then went to this other secret society that I can't even reveal and I was told to join them. That is when I was referred to a man who told me that in order to be successful and to get a lucky charm, I had to bring a body part. This body part of this other human being, it was something that is truly unspeakable. Brother Nashi, I am hurt by this and every day when I think of it or when I look my, at myself in the mirror, I am very ashamed of this act and I wish that I could turn back the hands of time and undo what I did, but unfortunately it can never be done. I had to find these other street kids that I had to find which were like easy targets. Unthinkable promised him a better life and took him to a place where I can't even reveal. When I went with him to this other old building somewhere in Jobek, my brother, that was when I spoke with this young man. I spoke with him and I told him that I needed something from him. He asked me what I was in need of. I had already been told that First, I had to gather his semen. I had to gather his semen, my brother. Yes, I am a man, but in that moment, I had to turn myself to become a woman. The first boy that I tried uh, this trick on, he said that he was going to hit me very hard, even though he wanted the money, but he was not hanging around with guys like me. Then I picked up another one who seemed to be very desperate. I knew that from my previous experience, I should not like try to strike the deal before showing the guy money. So what I did is that I showed him the money. It was 15K that I offered to him. I offered him this 15K and I told him that this was all that I wanted from him. His semen, if only he was going to give me his semen, then everything was going to be okay. So he asked me, how was I going to collect his semen? I then told him that I had to pretend as if I was a woman and he was supposed to pretend as if he was sleeping with a woman. So my brother, this was the first time that I ever slept with a man in this other old building somewhere in Jobek. It was late at night. I had gotten out of my very beautiful car that had been given to me by those men, those men that were always wearing black clothes. They had told me that I had to sleep with this man and after sleeping with that man, I was supposed to rush back to this other house in Senton, that is where the shrine 
used to be but that man he has since moved from Senton because they want privacy now he is staying at this other estate in an enclosed area one can't even get into that estate even the police cannot even get into that estate you have to have someone in there to allow you so that the securities can actually allow you into that estate a lot of rich people are living there in that estate so that is where our shrine right now is but at that time after i had removed my trousers and my boxer shot that was when that guy he forced himself to sleep with me but i saw that he just he was just doing it for the sake of money he was doing it for the sake of money not because he was enjoying i felt that the pp was not even like erect like the way that it must be when you are sleeping with a woman we did this nasty stuff that we did and my brother i handed him the money i felt so much wet in my back area and when i got into the car i started crying i started crying so much hard that i even thought of like ending my own life but just wanting to have all the money in the world it made me to be strong i thought of other stories that i had of very popular figures that had to do this same deed that i had done on that night that was when i said i want to be like a billionaire if you want to be a billionaire then you need to do some things that will be required from you well my brother what happened next was that i then went to senton at that time that was where the shrine was when i went there i was told that i had to take this other container and after i had taken that container my brother i was told that i had to go into the bathroom when i went into the bathroom i had to pull inside that small container so when i pooped then the poo came out with all of that men's semen and after i had harvested everything i then returned to where the rest of the shriners were at and then they started celebrating they celebrated so much when they saw that nasty stuff that i was holding in that small plastic container i was then invited into this room that they said was the holy of holies you can only enter once into that room when you are being initiated into that society that is when you can only enter into that room when i got into that room i was told that i had to hold that small container that i had actually put into after i had been told to hold it that was when the worst thing happened to me they told me that i had to chew to chew on all of those nasty items that i had deposited into that container so slowly they told me that i had to eat everything up and i was not supposed to like show that i was not enjoying everything that i was doing they told me that here i was standing before god and i had to be thankful to god that god had allowed me this opportunity to step into his throne room my brother it is not an easy thing to even think about eating your own poo and worst of all the poo that you knew very well that it was mixed with another man's semen those people told me that i had to do this i did it my brother and when i finally finished i wanted to vomit but they gave me this other kind of a wine after they had given me this wine i felt much much better really i felt much better i was then allowed to go into this other room so that i can sleep when i entered into that room that was when one brought this other plate it was a very beautiful plate like a royal plate fit for a king then when i opened this other bowl that was designed with gold i then saw that there was a liver i asked if this was a human liver or if it was a cow's liver but no one ever responded to me those shriners they just laughed at me hence i suspect that they made me to eat this liver that was not of a cow a god but what that was of a human after i had ate everything that was when i saw that i was now able to see dead people a lot of dead people they told me that for three months i was going to be tormented chased and beaten up by these dead people 
what would happen to me my brother is that when i would be at my house i would actually hear some things crawling in my ceiling then these things that will be crawling in my ceiling they would get out of the ceiling because there is this other entrance in the bathroom when which i use when some people want to do some renovations when they want to get into the ceiling so these dead people the dead spirits they would get down from the ceiling using that small entrance in the bathroom i would actually hear them as they will be like climbing down the walls with their long nails as the nails will be making this terrifying sound mind you my brother for three months i was not allowed to even look outside they, those shriners they brought some of their people and then they renovated the house they placed brand new dark black curtains all around the house i was not even allowed to see what was going on outside for three months i was tormented by these evil spirits there was no rest there was no rest at all my brother especially at night during the afternoon it was far much better but what would happen is that sometimes when i would fall fast asleep then one of the evil spirits will come and sit on top of me and hit me so bad it would hit me so bad and even when i would cry i would actually cry not because i would want someone to hear me but i'll be crying because i knew that there was no one who was going to be able to hear me even if i would scream on top of my lungs my neighbors will never be able to hear me because everything that was going on it was spiritual so i was crying at my situation my desperate situations when the three months was over that was when the shriners came and opened up the door for me when i was let out of my house my brother i even struggled to look at the sun because i had spent so much time in this house that had dark curtains all over the place blocking the light that was being given out by the sun after that my brother i was then told that my rituals had not ended now the second stage was that i had to sleep with a mad woman each and every month i was allowed to get married but i had to sleep with a mad woman once every month my brother these are the rituals that i have been keeping yes i am married i am married to this beautiful wife of mine but what she does not know is that once a month i find myself roaming the streets late at night and this thing when i do it i have to do it out of love i have to give this mad woman that i constantly make love to money and whenever i give her this money she goes and she throws it at this other big refuse bin just close to the place where she stays it is like as mad as she is she senses that this money it is actually ritual money my brother yes i am living in luxury and me and my wife we do not stay like each and every time we are not together i have several houses I know that my wife when she got into this relationship with me she got involved with me because she knows that i have this lavish lifestyle and that is all that she wants she stays with her mom her mom right now as we are speaking right now she is staying at one of my properties there in senton and she is very happy she is quite happy but they do not know that their in-law their in-law is a ritualist Whenever I perform these rituals of mine, I can even plan a fake trip. Usually I tell her that I am going to Deben, but I'll be hanging around how dang just doing my rituals. Yo, dear listeners, right there was a message that was sent to us by our dear brother. He was saying that on my wedding day, we were gifted a G-Wagon by a random guy who just came to our wedding. But the guy is a Shriner, but that was the first time that I met him. He just came with a beautiful G-Wagon. He didn't have number plates, no what. And that was his gift to me. Feeling embarrassed because this guy, I didn't know him with this great gift that he had given us. I then had to lie to my wife that he was one of my business partners this guy later on 
he came to me when we met up he then told me that i had to perform a ritual with him it was a nasty ritual that we performed together blood was involved and a lot of mad women your dear listeners revy was a message that was sent to me by one of our admins your strange things do happen in this world